Hello everyone. Welcome to another video of Maida's short video series. In this video, we will be talking about box culvert definition using the wizard. So in Maida's civil, we are having different wizards as you can see under the structure tab through which we can easily define the different kinds of bridges. So the wizard options is available for FCM bridge, ILM, transverse model, grillage model, RC frame box, RC slab, steel composite bridge, PSC bridge, and even for high end bridges like cable state suspension bridge, these are the wizard options available. So if we talk about wizard, so it is nothing but a kind of a template where we are having these tabs like for layout, section, load and construction stage and we need to give the relevant information in the wizard. So for the frame box structure like box culvert, I have defined a material which you can see over here. We go under the properties, material properties and here we have defined a concrete material. So grade C3500 has been defined. For definition of material, we click on add and from here we can select the type of material and as per the selected code, we can define the material easily. Once the material is defined, then we go under the structure tab and here we are having box culvert wizard. So we need to select the type of structure that we want. Whether you want to model 2D box culvert or 3D, you can select it from here and we can save any existing wizard file. So as of now, I'll quickly open a wizard file like this and all the definitions are already done here so we'll review each one by one so first we select the type of bridge like what it is like whether it is box culvert phi type frame or normal type frame after that we select the material and then span then we give the size of plate element since this is a box culvert so the element used will be plate hence you can see the thickness which is being defined and i'm giving a thickness of 0.5 now whether you want to model the wing wall or not you will select it from here and based upon this geometrical guides, you will give the definitions for the dimension. So T1 as you can see is this thickness that is given as 0.7 then T3 which is this thickness. So according to the guide diagram, you can provide these definitions. P is for the pavement and S2 is for the soil. So once these definitions are done, we move towards the next that is the transverse tab. Here, in case we are having any radius, then also we can check on the radius option and we can provide the radius value by using the type of curvature we are having. And even for skew, you can provide the angle from here. Once these definitions are done, we move towards next. So here we select the type of geometry we are having for our box culvert, like whether the footpath are present or not. So this is a cross sectional view we are seeing. B3 and B7 are the crash barrier and B4 and B6 are the pavement or the footpath and here we are having p5 that is the lane for us so here we give the size of plate element that will be used and using this we can provide this definition so b3 and b7 in this case are 0.5 and b4 and b6 are 2 meter and b5 is 15 meter then we select the supports of culvert so i'm giving a spring type where we give the stiffness for the modules of subgrade reaction and accordingly the soil will be simulated and then we give the length of elastic link then at the last we are having this loads so you can select the load combinations from here and then you can give the type of loading that is to be considered like self it will be checked on then in case you want to give the pavement and soil then you will check on these options and you will give the intensity then underground water barrier sidewalk system temperature and the temperature gradient and then we give the shrinkage strain thermal coefficient so in this case, we can provide the loading over here and then we can just simply click on OK and the model will be generated something like this. So if we go to the work menu here, you can see the element which are the plate elements and the different thickness as per the geometry is considered as you can see from here, we can check the views. These are the wing walls and the loads are also applied automatically. So since this is a plate element model, so you can see the pressure load that has been applied on the plate elements. Then for the crowd load, as we have defined the footpath at the extreme ends for two meter, you can see the crowd load has been applied on that. So yeah. And this way we can define the box culvert model easily using the wizard. I hope you had a great learning. See you in the next video.